what's up you guys today I'm going to be doing a tutorial and eye makeup and like blush and bronzer tutorial with the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau um, eyeshadow holiday kit so like if you get this gifted or you buying it for yourself which I totally did um, you know you have some looks that you can recreate um, so let's just get into the video because who wants to hear me talk and ramble so I'll see you guys in like two seconds bye okay so I've already applied concealer and powder foundation and previously primed my eyelids with the Too Faced shadow insurance just keep the Too Faced thing going and here is the star of the show the Le Grand Chateau holiday collection from Too Faced and I'm popping that open and taking out the blue palette and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a shade all over the lid. I'm applying the shade Bonjour, which is like a really nice golden shade all over my lid. Look at how pigmented that is. So that's just going all over my eyelid. And I'm using my finger to apply this because I just feel like it gives off the most pigmentation when you use a sparkly shade all over your lid. Just use your finger. And here I realized that like you could not even see what I was doing, so excuse this. I'm Next, I'm using the color Fifi in my crease, and I'm using my Estee Lauder blending brush. It doesn't have a number on it, and I don't know if they still sell it anymore, so I'm sorry, but I'm sure they sell similar stuff. So I'm just sweeping this all in the crease. I know you're supposed to probably do this before you put on your lid shade, but I was just, I was just tweaking this one, so I don't know. But I'm just applying a generous amount, so I'm bringing this really far up because that's just the way I like to do my makeup but you don't have to bring it far up I'm just doing what's complementing my eye shape the reason why I like to do it before like apply my transition shades is because sometimes it the pigmentation gets lost on your lid so here I'm just applying a little bit more so it's just really pigmented so now I'm taking the darkest shade in the blue palette called La Femme and I'm sticking that all up in my waterline on my waterline. I forget what this is called at the moment, but you're seeing it right now. And this is just going to make my lashes look fuller. You will see me using a lot of these pink brushes in my videos and I got this 32 piece kit off of Amazon for $16 and they don't have numbers or anything on the brushes so I'm just gonna link the whole brush set down below but now I'm taking that same uh, dark brown color the femme and I'm dragging it down my lower lash line and this kind of looks sloppy but it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm gonna go back in and blend it and fix it later nothing is permanent right now we're just laying down the basis of what we're doing next I'm going to take this just on the corner of my my upper lash and I'm just gonna put it right there like you're applying eyeliner but I'm not gonna take it any farther than what I did I don't know why I just like doing this but it really just lifts up my eye and makes it look like a lot better so I'm taking this smaller brush and I'm taking the color pot de creme or something I don't know how to pronounce it um, in my inner corner and above my brow bone and this is just the lightest matte shade in the palette again this looks really sloppy but we're gonna blend and nothing's permanent at this moment and here I'm going back in with my Estee Lauder brush and I'm going to be blending out the crease color and the highlight shade above my brow bone just so it's just very blended and slick next I'm taking the mascara that comes with the kit which is the Too Faced better than sex and I'm going to apply two to three coats all over my eyelashes While I was doing my mascara, I forgot to put the shade Bonjour on my lower lash line, so I'm taking that same brush that we use for the highlight shade, and I'm applying it right next to the dark La Femme shade, and I'm just kind of blending it together to make everything equal on the top and the bottom. So now after mascara, I'm just going on with a little flat blood, what, and whatever, brush, and packing on some more gold pigment because I like it pigmented, don't we all? And it's just so pigmented, do you see that? And this is the completed eye look. 
Uh, so you get something really just glam and amazing and it's just gorgeous and I just love the way this look turned out. I hope you do too if you recreate it or you're watching this. Now I'm on to part two and I'm taking the pink palette which is Paris in Love and I'm going to be taking the shade Jolie which is what I'm pointing at with this amazing angled brush that is in the 32 piece brush set that I got from Amazon. It is so soft and it's just perfect for bronzer and I'm taking it in putting a lot into that part of my face and like dabbing it because that's the part of your face that you want like the most like contour because that's like the main part of your cheekbone. I'm not an expert but this is just what I've, what I've heard. So I'm just going to be blending it out and I'm going to be putting it on both sides of my cheeks, under my jawline, and on my forehead. So next back to the blue palette, which is called Paris Unnatural, I didn't mention this earlier, and I'm taking the blush in it, which is called Mademoiselle, and it is just like the gorgeous, most gorgeous blush like in this whole palette. There's another one in Paris After Dark called Trey Fab, but like this blush is so natural. I mean, it takes a few swipes to get the pigmentation up there, but like once you do, it's just like gorgeous and it glides on beautifully. And I'm using the blush brush in that same package that I got from Amazon and it's just great and soft and I love it and I love this blush. You need it in your life. So that was the conclusion for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love this look and I feel like it's very just like versatile and you can wear it to anything. I would even wear I wore this to school one day, honestly. I'm not even lying, like, I don't even care. Like if I want to look good for myself, I will. But I love these pals. Totally give these out to your friends. I mean, I'm not personally because uh, these are like 50 bucks for the whole entire Le Grand Chateau. Um, but if you can give them out and you want to, totally do it. I would love it if I got these. This one, if if you're gifting these out, give this one to your best friend because this is the one with the most versatile colors, um, very natural. The blush is just like amazing. So just go with like the different personalities of your friends. Like this, if your friend likes more like dark smoky yes, eyes, give them the one for after dark like it's just amazing and pigmented and I just love these palettes and I just really hope you guys can pick it up and give it to your friends give it to yourself gift yourself treat yourself that's what I did I was like girl this is limited edition I'm gonna treat myself so treat yourself um this look is just perfect and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you recreate it uh please I'm not even gonna promo myself just please just recreate it and I really hope you like it and if you do recreate it I won't know but I will smile on the inside knowing that somebody might recreate my look and just thank you uh, so without further ado what the heck I tried to be professional there okay without further ado get to doing makeup I think you're pretty without any makeup on